So I've still been playing Black Ops 3 Beta, obviously, because, you know, it's a very fun game and it's only here for a few days, so make the most of the time while it's here. So this gameplay on uh, the map they added a few days into the beta, and uh, it's using the CUDA. Now this gun, sometimes this gun just destroys people, other times it, it, it just tickles them, it's weird, it's an SMG, it's the first one you get, and for me I feel like it's better at medium range than it is at close range. Even against like certain ARs, it's weird, it's a uh, very strange weapon, but I do get a decent gameplay here, and uh, the reason for this decent gameplay is my uh, specialist, my new favourite specialist, I think he is called the Spectre. He has two abilities, well he has one ability and one weapon, the same as all the other specialists in the game. His weapon is the Ripper, this is a melee only thing, gives you extra extended lunge distance, and it also tells you when you're in distance to lunge them by a little like red circle on their body. Um, I haven't used that because I didn't have the unlock tokens to get it and I'd already reached the level cap but in, of course they've added more levels, they've added 9 more now. So the level cap is now 49 and I'm currently like 42. Um, the ability I'm using here is, is uh, active camouflage. So if you'd played Advanced Warfare you know that there's an invisibility in there. I don't even know what it's called in, uh, in Advanced Warfare. I think it might be like Exo Invis or something. But you activate it, and um, as you see right now, invisible. In Advanced Warfare, if you've played it, you know that yes, they're invisible, but they're kind of outlined and they're kind of a different shade to the rest of the uh, the map, so you can see them, but maybe not at long distances. This active camouflage from the Spectre is so good that I walk up to people and melee them, and they can't see me. I don't think I have an example of that in this gameplay, but it's, it's happened like. I've been using this for maybe like 50 games now, I've been killed out of my invisibility once. One time I was killed out of my invisibility. Every other time it's basically a free kill if you can aim correctly. What you could do is you could like lay down, invis, wait for two people to walk past you, turn around and shoot them both in the back. It is so good. It may not get you as many kills as a Tempest or an Annihilator, and it might not be as good for your team as like a Vision Pulse or something like that. But this is so good, and of course, because they've increased the level cap, I've been able to unlock more perks. So the perks I'm using in this gameplay are Ghost, so when I'm moving, I'm off the UAV. Hardwired, so if they call in a count UAV, it doesn't affect me. As well as Tactical Mask and Awareness, so I hear their footsteps when they get close to me, and any stun grenades and flashbangs they throw at me do not affect me as much as they normally would. It's... it's amazing, it's really really crazy how good it is. I've not seen anyone else use it. Maybe because they think it's like Advanced Warfare or Destiny where yeah you are kind of invisible but I can still sort of see you. In this game it's it's similar to that I swear. I've watched kill cams but like when people have, have, have like killed me. The one kill cam right? And he like he was pre-aiming the door and he could see my outline and I was surprised that I've only been killed by it by that one guy because Every other person just seems to ignore you, whether they don't know that this is an ability that's in the game, so they think, did I see that guy? Nah, probably not, that's not an ability in this game. Well, it actually is, and it's surprising how many people you can actually co like catch off guard. I'm going to watch the gameplay, I have it active here. I don't think I get to use it, though. Maybe I do. Well, I used it and that guy was running away, so it didn't really matter. But it's insane, like, it only lasts for four seconds, so, like, I, I'm saying it's ins insanely good. It's not like you're going to be able to go invisible for, like, you know, a full, like, 30 seconds or something. It's only, like, four seconds long. But that is enough for you to, like, run past someone, get past them and shoot them in the back. Or, like, you know, if there's two people, like, the way I use it is if I have, um, I have awareness as a perk, so I hear enemy footsteps. If I hear more than one footsteps, then I'll uh, I'll use my ability, because if there's one, I could probably win that gunfight, because I know he's coming, I'm prepared. If I hear more than one, what I'll do is I'll go invisible, wait for the first guy to walk past, then I'll shoot the second guy, and then turn around and then shoot the first guy in the back. It's, it's insane, look at that, I swear, that guy would have saw me if I didn't have my ability active, but I did, and I, I managed to take him out. Obviously, when I have my uh, my haters up in the air, which is obviously the VSAT equivalent, it's not as good, because you know they're coming, you don't need to go invisible, but it's still pretty good, and um, I think it's going to be very useful in uh, game modes like Search and Destroy and Uplink. Oh my god, I just, I just realized, like, Uplink, people are just going to not know where you are. This is going to be insane. Capture the flag is going to be really good. Search, I could see it maybe being good, depending on the situation. 
but I've just been using it in respawn. I've been using it in kill confirmed and team deathmatch, and uh, it it's insanely good, man. Talking about my uh, my loadout now, I'm using this pistol. I haven't mentioned this really in any other commentary. So the pistols, man, they're actually good. It's insane. I think Treyarch's the only one that realizes that pistols should actually be able to kill someone. So three pistols in this game: semi-auto one, a burst fire one, and a fully automatic one. And all of them are pretty strong. I feel like you could run around with the, the pistols in this game and you could probably get a decent score, you know? Like, I'm out of bullets, switch to the pistol. In Advanced Warfare, I'm out of bullets, what do I do? I run away because there's no pistols that's worth using in that game. And uh, in this one there is. And uh, it's surprising how much I actually rely on the pistol in this game because uh, in Advanced Warfare I don't even use one, whereas in this game, you know, I have at least one on every class. Well, obviously at least one. I have one on every class because... Uh, they save your life a lot more than you think they would. Um, I still haven't picked a, uh, a favorite pistol yet. I'd probably just go with the default semi-auto one because that's the f you can fire that really fast if you actually uh, are able to spam that trigger and be accurate, and uh, I think I can be. So we're coming up to the end of gameplay here, and uh, final score here of 22 and 3, using this uh, active camouflage. If you guys have got to level 40, I do recommend trying out the active camouflage and just, like, Activate it and don't shoot. The second you shoot, you come out of your camouflage. And if you don't shoot, people will just walk straight past you. And it's amazing. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later.